Mike and John in the morning and Brighton High School Musical Theater presenting Disney's Newsies. It's 819, and joining us in the studio, Olivia and Connor, who star in Brighton High School Musical's Disney's Newsies. Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. All right, so, so Connor, you play Jack. That is right. Who's, who's the lead in this? Oh, yeah, he's the leader of the Newsboys. Uh, yeah, the Newsboys, and this is a group? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, set, set the scene for Newsies for us. This is a, a, a period piece. Yeah, it's set in the is it early 1900s, late 1800s. Yeah, it's like 1899. Yep, mm -hmm. New York. You got all the newsboys who, a bunch of little kids who, not little kids, teenagers, <laughs> kids, that whole variety who live on the streets, sell newspapers for, to earn their living. Street mm -hmm. scamps. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and so then what happens is Pulitzer, who is like the head of the world, um, takes like the prices and raises the prices for the newsboys so then jack is like okay this is not fair and he decides to do a strike and that's kind of what the musical is about okay. now olivia you play Catherine. i do what's your yes. relationship to jack in this thing well um <laughs> yeah. can, can we say or does that uh, no yeah we can extra, say extra extra oh yeah we get all exactly. about it exactly <laughs> um so Catherine is the journalist so she comes in and she is like for a, w a woman in this time, it's not rare to have a journalist, um, a woman journalist. Yeah. And so she's doing the, she's giving them a, the spot in the newspaper. And um, there's a little love romance between Jack and Catherine. Okay. Mm -hmm. They don't expect it at first, but... Yes. Well, do they ever, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, so of course, uh, uh, Newsies, lots of great music in here. And yes. uh, I'm sure you guys' Brighton Musical Theater is uh, renowned for putting on some pretty great productions, I'm sure, here. Yeah, so oh, Alan yeah. Macon, who has um, done Beauty and the Beast and uh, Little Mermaid. Yeah, all those that are super famous. He also wrote the music for this one as well. Oh. So, um, Newsies isn't as popular as those ones. Um, because it's kind of newer to Broadway, but it is just as good, if not, I think, better than those. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot of high-energy songs as well, which really round out the whole thing. Yeah, and it's perfect for all ages. I mean, someone who is a grandpa that knows about this strike would love it, and also, you know, that five-year-old that just loves to watch musicals. Did, did you just notice the look she just gave us there, John, when she said grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> she was looking grandpas, at you. Yeah, grandpas would like that. <laughs> <laughs> so when does the show open? Is it this week? This weekend, right? We open this Friday. All right, this Friday. Yep. You got performances this weekend and then the following weekend. Correct. Yep. Correct. Right. Yeah. And we've got uh, Josh Holowicki here with us, of course, as always. And Josh, uh, for folks that are going to come out, if, if whether they've seen the movie or uh, are familiar with the show or not, what can they expect? Yeah, you know, it's uh, in in true Brighton High School Musical Theater fashion. They're going to uh, get completely blown away. Um, I would probably say. This is our this is our tenth anniversary as Brighton High School Musical Theater a program, um, so we are celebrating big time with uh, with this show. Um, production value is um, bigger and better than it's ever been, and uh, I'll tell you we uh, I saw the show on Broadway, and uh, I paid about eight times what uh, our <laughs> ticket prices are, and I'm going we should probably charge more, but but uh, the the value of what uh, of what the show is going to be for audience members. Uh, um, there's going to be a lot of jaws on the floor through the whole show. Uh, now you guys usually have like a red carpet night too. Are you doing that again? We do. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, this this Saturday night it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We've got the red carpet. Um, we've still got some tickets available for that, and that's uh, again part of our fundraiser for uh, for scholarships for music education things like that for kids in the program. Um, so we've got the red carpet night on on Saturday. So we've got about a hundred seats set aside. Uh, we've got a walk on the red carpet, a uh, special intermezzo during the intermission time, and then uh, a private backstage tour to be able to see all the inner workings, and then an afterglow party uh, at Chow Michi's in downtown. Yeah, Miami. very cool. So, yeah. Always a, a worthwhile time. Yeah, and you know, we're I, I, a friend of mine and I, uh, we've got uh, top hats, and uh, he and I are going as Pulitzer and Hearst. <laughs> so. You know, that brings up a, the costumes of the period. So, so for Connor and Olivia, uh, so, so Connor... Uh, 
You wearing knickers? <laughs> <laughs> well, newsboy hat and everything. Well, got, the, got the newsy hat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> got some suspenders going on as well. Ah, there you go. Suspenders. Yeah. Right, of course. That's what John was hoping for. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. If you need tips well, on how to snap those suspenders, this I've got man right here, uh, <laughs> Mike Marino, of course, is. Excellent experience snapping <laughs> suspenders on stage, but we'll tell you that One story time. later. Oh, uh, oh boy! <laughs> uh, and, and Olivia, uh, you know, costume-wise, your your character, like you said, eighteen ninety-nine. This is set, so yes, exactly. Um, there are definitely some patterns that I am not used to, but yeah. I love it. And Looks like drapes. she wears a tie, and um, yeah, it's like polka dot mixed with stripes and yeah. lots of purple. Because purple in that time was very expensive to make, so purple showed that like you were high class. Ah, very kind of cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I th we we do have some tickets to give away. We do, and uh, we're going to do a, a little time tripping. Now, of course, as we said, Newsy set uh, late nineteenth century. We're not going that far back. No, we're going to take you about forty years back here Fifty. with our Popomatic Trouble Bubble. We need oh. to determine oh. what caller to take to give away tickets here. So, okay. so uh, Olivia, if you can give that uh, push down on the, we have to give instructions. Instructions, I know. Okay. Push, yeah. push, push down, push down yeah. on the dome there. Yeah, yeah. you got to make it trouble. You push bubble. harder. There you go. All right, five. We got five right. now. now Connor, Connor, you do you the add. same. All right, we'll add them up. And one. So we're taking caller six. Caller number six. We'll give you a pair of tickets to the show. These are good for any of the shows, Josh? Uh, so there's... Oh, they're, uh, they're spe there's show specific. We'll let you pick the show either uh, the 14th uh, on Thursday or... Uh, well, they're different times. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll give you a chance at uh, winning tickets. 517-546-9935. Caller number six. Break a leg, guys. It's always great having the uh, Brighton High School Musical Theater in here on the uh, Mike and John Show. We yeah. appreciate it. Newsies opens so this Friday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.